My name is Lachi, she, her, and I'm a black woman with cornrows. I'm wearing an electric blue dress, heels to die for, and a show-stopping cane. I identify as blind, ADD, OCD, and have a myriad of anxiety conditions. Words often used to describe me are brave, courageous, superpowers, but I can assure you I am no more brave or courageous than the next person. And I certainly don't have any superpowers that I know of. <laughs> what I am is authentic. I'd say I'm driven, definitely a problem solver, and I tap into my inner visionary. Now, you might say these sound like traits of a leader or what we offer in our leadership training. I say these are just natural traits of a disabled girl trying to navigate a society that was not made for her, amplified by something I have that's cooler than bravery and that's better than courage. And frankly, that's better than superpowers. And that's pride. Pride in the parts of my identity society has told me to be most ashamed of. And spoiler alert, that kind of pride is how you win at life. I'm just saying. Over one in four Americans have some form of disability or neurodivergence. And 70% of those folks choose not to disclose if they don't have to. And you might be one of them. You like how she know. <laughs> because nobody wants to talk about it because it's not cool or hip. But I'm gonna tell you something. Everyone watching this will interface with the very natural phenomenon called disability at some point in their life, if they haven't yet. Whether it be temporary, whether it be through a friend, family, or child, whether it be through aging. And you know what? When that happens, you may deal with an inaccessible venue. You may encounter issues with accommodations, and you may encounter people who say, you're so brave and you're so courageous. But it's just society's stigmas. You know, it's just society conditioning us to equate disability with shame and fear. But the great Laura Hershey said, you weren't the one who made you ashamed, but you can be the one who makes you proud. So I'm like, you know what? Let's flip the switch on the whole disability so sad BS. And we're gonna do that today. And I'm gonna do that with you in two ways. One, by introducing you to a proud disabled woman. Mwah. <laughs> Invite me to dinner. But also, by singing some songs for you folks. Some songs that celebrate disability culture, and that discuss the cool, natural elements of the disability identity. So the first song I want to perform for you today is called Diseducation. And it's a song I wrote about how disabled folks are independent, that interdependence is independence, and that, you know what, we're done equating disability with charity. This education, I hope you enjoy. I don't need to hold you down to lift me up. I don't need to see the ground. No, I'm jumping. <laughs> Don't need no one else's crown to claim my cup. Yeah, I don't need you. I don't need you. You on that no peak flow? Think I'm out here blowing you up? I'm on that next rise, best life out here showing you up. Turn me away to my face. Now they out here showing me love. I think it's high time for some diseducation. I don't need your hand me downs for my leg up. I don't need to raise my hand to be 
be disruptive. <laughs> Why am I wrecking and I'm breaking home my lunch? Yeah, I don't need you. I don't need you. You on that no big slow. The thing come out here blowing you up. I'm on that next right fast life. Out here showing you up, turn me away to my face. Now they out here showing me love. I think it's high time for some diseducation. Love of a baby. <laughs> No need to waste hugs, it's in your face, love. I seen what you made up, and when they switch up, I start acting different on them. I throw my wrist up, I just let it glisten on them. No need for tripping on them, I just respect the game. While others come and go, we build in a solid name. Hey, it's harder to move smarter when it's less to gain. Gotta make your own rules go against the grain. The pressure and pain remains, it settles in. With nothing to lose, I can only accept a win. Don't need nobody stepping in, trying to recommend. You know my world better than me, better phone a friend. Either follow my lead, or set a trend. Once you go down this road, it never ends. The devil knocking at my door, better let him in. But warn him that I'm more deadly than the seven sins. <laughs> I'm on that next rise, best life. Out here showing you up, turn me away to my face. Now they out here showing me love. I think it's high time for some diseducation. I think it's high time for the disabled yet you will be joining the club so let's clean the place up for you before you get here and I believe the best way to do that is by discussing and really understanding disability culture disability culture is the contributions perspective and art that come from our different minds and bodies disability culture is the music words and worldviews that come from the oppression that we face that come from the exclusion that we face, that come from the erasure that we face. And it is rooted in problem solving. It is rooted in creative thinking. It is rooted in navigating the world differently. And it is unapologetic. It is adaptable. It is innovative. And it is resilient. And it deserves to be celebrated. And we celebrate it by lifting up the vastly intersectional disability community by lifting each other up. So this next song I'm going to sing for you is called Lift Me Up. And I wrote this song with a very talented group of disabled artists from the Ramped community. And actually, this song charted on the radio because of how stringent its message was. We wrote this song to lift up those disabled people that came before us and fought tirelessly for a girl like me to be able to sing songs to people like you about how proud I am 
of my disability identity. Lift me up, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 